it's all awesome ingredients. We've got salt and pepper for taste. Okay. Two cans of pinto beans. This is some of the magic. This is uh, chipotles in adobo sauce. This is where the heat for my chili is coming from right here. And that's it. I'm not putting any chili. Jack, is this garbage stew all over again? Are you serious? Just look at all these ingredients. Chili is not that complicated. It really isn't. I mean, at least southern chili is. Jack is southern, right? Well, he's Italian, but he's actually from Tennessee or something, I think. Jack, chili is does not require half of this stuff on this table. Chili literally is just beans, uh, ground beef, or some type of meat, and then, you know, just like a couple of spices like salt, pepper, garlic, you know, and that's about it. I mean, then some type of liquid to go in there. I've never figured out what the liquid is. I think the liquid is usually what, like tomato sauce or something, and that's it. I mean, there's like no, all this extra stuff, Jack, really? Powder. A freaking IPA beer to make it better and just like different types of beans, which you don't need. You know, just pentos, just good enough. You're going to throw sausage in there, throw a whole onion in there. I mean, this is a mess. This is not chili. This is a mess. Or anything. It's going to be the smoky goodness of this. And then if I need chili powder, I'll put it in. But as far as I know, this is the recipe. Final recipe will be down below. And then I got a can of corn, tomato paste, IPA beer. La, La Guintas. This beer is an IPA. This is what I use on my sausage sliders, remember? And it foamed up, got all caramely tasting. This is an amazing beer to cook with, okay? Isn't beer, like, well, not beer, but IPAs, aren't they incredibly bitter? Like, that's what, it, what makes an IPA an IPA. I'm not a beer drinker. I literally cannot drink beer because it makes me sick. Like, just, I don't know what it is in beer, but every time I've had beer, period, even one bottle of it will make me just incredibly sick. Then you got diced tomatoes, you got three things of black beans, garlic, two jars of your salsa, whatever salsa you like. We're gonna dice up an onion. I've got Italian, sweet Italian sausage. And I have never heard of chili having sausage in it. And then let's clear this off because this is what's going to win it for me, I think, is this beautiful smoked brisket. I cooked it for 12 hours, this is leftovers. You guys remember last year I did, I had a smoked brisket and it was, it was amazing. Is this the same brisket? Cause that's what the comment said. The comment literally said that he took a brisket from a year ago, froze it and then brought it back. Just, just, ugh. Absolutely beautiful, look at this. Jack, that is rotten. Oh my God, Jack, that, that is rotten. That is, that is not, that that is that is rotten. Just look at it. it it's gray. Is that is that a work of art? Can you see that? <laughs> yeah, it's a rock. It's literally a freaking lava rock, that. Jack. That is not edible. No. Outer crust. That thing is charred. That thing is blacker than asphalt. There, that it's just it's just gorgeous. So we're it's, gonna. It's rotten. It's literally rotten. We're gonna cube this up. What, what color is brisket? Let me look it up really quick because I, I may be. I'm every time I make a cooking with Jack video, someone's bitching in the comments talking about how I don't know how to cook, and that's true. But I'm pretty sure brisket doesn't look like that. Let's see what brisket looks like naturally when it's cooked. Hold on. Uh, yeah, that's that's way off, Jack. Brisket is supposed to be like a sort of like a light brown. Like, it is dark on the outside. It's not that dark, but it's, um, yeah, brisket's kind of reddish. It almost looks like steak. But that's, that, dude, that's rotten. And reheat all this. And this cooked for 12 hours. This is the meat. We're not using ground beef. Yeah. Nobody uses ground beef anymore if you want to win a contest. What? <laughs> Do what? Jack! Do you, this is sort of reminds me of like that time that you made quote unquote lasagna and ended up making penne or however you say that penny pen whatever the stuff that's not ZD because I said it was ZD but it's not ZD so we're gonna dice up this brisket down below is the seasoning I used on this brisket and then smoked it on my Traeger for 12 hours uh, so you know everything I used but the key ingredient on this I'm gonna tell you right now I use ground Swedish coffee and I think it was brown sugar and chili powder and uh, onion and garlic. 
Mmm, coffee grounds. That's exactly what I want to eat when I'm biting into a meat. So, but it's that's exactly the taste I'm looking for. It's freaking coffee grounds. Jack, what is wrong with you? Seriously, I, I'm just this video is a gold mine in and of itself because I, I can't believe what I'm watching. I really, Jack has me completely shell shocked right now seeing this piece of meat that he's going to throw in there for his entire church to make him sick. It's all, the exact description they're gonna be praying after they eat this all right they're gonna be in that toilet praying to jesus that it ends sooner is down below all right probably the hardest thing we're gonna do is just cook our sausage that's all we gotta cook everything else is already made so let's get that get that in the pan right now why do i have a feeling he's gonna undercook the sausage no. yeah baby nothing like a sizzle i love it okay this is when it gets interesting this is when we put everything together. I love the meat. The meat's important. That's the key. So we'll put that much in for now. That's the brisket. Same with the sausage. I can't put all the sausage I want in. Most of it I can. That's about it. All right, maybe a little more. There we go. That's about it. I'm gonna drop my onions in there. All of that meat looks undercooked to me. I may be wrong. I've never really cooked like a sausage like that, like, you know, the really fat ones, but that just looks undercooked to me. Sausage, to, anytime I've ever cooked sausage, it was a much, much darker than that. Put my beans. There we go. Here's the corn. Tomatoes. The garlic. Pink. Let's see if we can shake out the paste. Come on. Come on. Too lazy to get a spoon. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Come on. That's what I'm talking about right there. Just shit it out, Jack. Salsa. Oh, let's get There goes my monetization for this video. <laughs> I looked at my monetization, by the way. I just got my partnership. And it's not about the money. I was figuring that it would help at least boost the channel some. Because really, let's be real. YouTube ads don't make you any money. They, they just don't. They might make you pocket change. Unless you're Mr. Beast or something, but he probably makes more money off of other stuff he does than YouTube ads. But um, I was looking at it like it kind of lit up pretty much every Chris Hansen video is yellow. And I'm just like, ah, I'm not surprised. So it's getting full. It's getting full. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to pour the beer in. Yes, Ew. it will cook off the alcohol. I'm going to be cooking a long time on this. Ugh. There we go. Beautiful. Look at it reacting and bubbling and then the reason i'm gonna take first place is because of this magic right here what chipotle's in adobo sauce oh okay so i chopped up jack that that is that is that is awful that that is just awful <laughs> that that that's a mess jack that's about as that might be worse than garbage stew. And, and I, I know that garbage stew is gag worthy and it was mostly leftover stuff, but Jack, that's just, that's, that's not chili, that's a mess. That, that is a mess. Like, as a fellow redneck, I have eaten my share of chili. You know, I've eaten it from, you know, chili cook-offs, I've eaten it from the barbecue, which was a event where in Richmond where uh, Guar, the band, was uh, doing the thing. They had chili. I think they had chili and they had like barbecue and they had their own, you know, bloody pit of horror barbecue sauce, which was freaking amazing, by the way. That barbecue is the best I've ever had. Um, but I've had chili before more than once. And I've had fast food chili from Subway. I've had it from uh, Wendy's. I've made it myself. I've had it out of a can. You know, every type of chili that you can get in a can, I've had it. None of them look like this. This looks like an abomination of trying to combine chili and Brunswick stew and just a mess, Jack. This is a mess. The, the, the chili does not look like this. All the chipotle peppers and the adobo sauce, it's all mixed in here now. I just took a quick little taste to make sure it's perfect. It's a perfect balance of everything. All right, what do we got? What's the ending look like? Okay, so this is the All right, so we're gonna see people's other other people's chili to see if it's as big of a mess. I might be wrong, and you can tell me I'm wrong in the comments. I'm fine with criticism.
it's the people that say really asshole stuff that I kind of get a little bit of, you know, a problem with when people are just like, oh, just play the video. Go watch it then. Fuck. As soon as you heard someone talk, just, you know, go watch something else. This is the competition over here. They're, you know, all the teams are getting ready for seven on seven football. Okay. All right. Station camps here and beach football's here. And Cane Ridge is here. So it's going to be. They're going to show me the other chilling. Guys, is mine. I won't okay. tell you which one is mine. Okay. Not at all. That one looks fine. I can't tell you which one it is. And here's the other one. Can't There's number two. There. Three. See, you notice like all these other chilies just look like regular beef beans and some type of sauce, and maybe a few extra things, maybe some black beans, you know, you know just a very simple chill. See, the thing about Southern cooking that unless you're Southern, you probably may not understand this. I don't know because I'm not Northern, but it seems like Southerners have a certain way of cooking and Southern cooking generally boils down to simplicity you know for the most part brunswick stew how is it made someone has some leftover stuff they throw it in a crock pot and then bang brunswick stew it just that it's had stuff that come together into a stew you know over in brunswick county virginia i know people in georgia are going to fight me on that but i'm a virginia guy and yeah even though <laughs> there was somebody that I, I never actually went to brunswick county for anything because it's like farther out east from where i'm from but I actually knew somebody that knew people from Brunswick County, and they said that Brunswick County's family tree is a stump. <laughs> they said it was a stump. Number seven. Hey, what that. happened to four and five and six? Oh, here's five. Okay, we're kind of out of order here. Well, it makes me nervous. Don't do that. 14. I think that's that's Jack's right there because it has a bunch of extra colors in it. 10, 15, it goes all the way down. There you go. You got all these going. Now, who's doing the who's doing the judging? Who do we know? Everybody. Everybody's judging? Yep. Oh, okay, cool. Every child, adult, teenager, they come through and they sample. And then they write the number they want, they give it to Mr. Mark. Listen, y'all. And he You're allowed to pass calculates. And here. nobody's going to try and rig this, huh? <laughs> Not on my watch. Okay, guys, so here's the deal. Um, I'm at the chili competition and. I can tell you right now I'm not going to win. Let me tell you why. Because you can't cook. You gave them literally rotten meat in your chili, Jack. Number one, I don't cheat. But number two... you know, He's calling the other cooks at the chili cook-off of his church. Cheaters. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Jack. Seriously? You can't cook. You are, you are Randy Marsh in real life. You know, we need Gordon Ramsay to come in there and go, Oi, look, listen, you can't fucking cook. They're letting everybody here vote which one they think Jesus. is the best. And I don't think that's good. I can't do Gordon Ramsay. I think you should have neutral designated judges. So I'm going to go on record saying that I'm probably not going to win today because I'm not going to tell Jack and his friends to vote for me. I'm not going to do that. So everybody's going to go over and vote for the best chili possible. All right. But it's all in fun. There's no prize. There's no, no nothing. And it's the only time I'm doing this competition because I've already shown the recipe. So it's all okay. So Jack, why are you so salty about a church competition? It's supposed to be fun. It's for the church. It's for the children, really. I mean, most any of these sort of like events usually are for the children, you know. Here's beach. They put them against. They literally put beach. All right, is there anything else in this video about cooking or is we're just going to watch the soccer game? All right. So there were some nice people. Great chilies. I didn't win first, second, or third place. <laughs> of course he didn't. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Oh, God. <laughs> and I'm just a regular guy still. See? It's all good. Somebody else won. Congratulations to the winners of the uh, the Chili Bowl. Congratulations to Beach High School, my son's team. Oh, uh, you don't all dox some people. Don't dox nobody, Jack. What the world? 
who he didn't dox anybody, but he just said who his son's high school was, and I wouldn't want to put that out there. 53,000 views seven years ago. Good God. Chili made entirely from canned ingredients, cheap sausage mixed with one fresh onion, and the winning ingredient is the leftover brisket from last year. <laughs> By the way, I love your username. From Russia with love. Good Bond reference. Uh, barring discussion on dried beans versus canned beans versus no beans, I think the secret to a winning chili is using dried whole chili peppers that you toast. Uh, let's see if anyone else is a... Uh, I doubt you'd win with garlic in a jar. You bought a fresh onion, buy fresh garlic, needs cumin and chili powder. Exactly. Like, there's, like, other spices. You know, you need cumin, chili powder, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, pepper, all that sort of stuff. Um, Jack Scalfine, the man who was born with the talent to make any food, look like pig slop. <laughs> <laughs> oh god i love the comments okay thank you for watching and thank you so much to my lovely viewer the java coder for requesting this this was fun and